Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. Take what fits. Leave what don't. If none of this hits home, try a different message. We're going to see what we've got coming through Woo. for you guys. Put the computer away. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Taking some time off to spend with the family. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. At the bottom of the deck, we have Twin Flame. Some of you guys are going to have to take a minute to help your person explain some things that they're realizing, recognizing between the two of you. I think one of you... One of you is realizing a spiritual truth about your connection, a deeper reason as to how you guys complete each other. Does that make sense? And the other person here could be you, already has a... a a good arsenal of information in regards to this topic. You just haven't shared it yet. You, know, you weren't sure how your person was going to react to it. Um, but it looks like they're coming across it in their own time. In their own way. You guys are going to be on the same page here. But your person, I think your person's going to want to sit down and talk about this. Like, hey, I got a couple questions. Because I think one of you is more into this already. One of you is a little more studied, rehearsed, knowledgeable, educated, whatever. Yeah, now is not the time to necessarily work, overwork yourself, but spend that time with your person here. What do we have for cancer? Tell me about this put, put away the computer. What is that smell? Smells like a seed. If you know, you know. Um, put away the computer, please. Why is this here for cancer? Six of wands. Success, recognition, reward. Victory. Being seen, being recognized. The Hierophant. Yeah, because you were the student learning all this stuff. Now there's a new student asking you, in a sense, you're teaching, sharing bits and pieces of what you already learned or what you know to be the truth about this twin flame connection you have. Yeah, and now you're kind of guiding them through it. That's a lot of indigo. Y'all, look at that. Beautiful. Taurus energy there. Awakening. Nine of Cups. And it would turn out it's better than they even imagined. And they're starting to realize that. You really are my slice of heaven. <laughs> nine of wands. Ooh, nine, nine there. Justice. That's nine, eleven. Ten of wands. Nine of coins. Wow, with the nines, yo. Nine is observer. Nine is the top of the pyramid. Nine is the Nikola Tesla. Nine is um, so much. Nine is everything. 
Somebody is now overstanding what they were trying to understand and now they're overstanding it because they get it. They've been through some shit trying to find out too, but you know what? They finally get it. I think somebody is recognizing that you guys really are perfect for each other and it's it's a nice refresher for you because like as they're explaining it it's already stuff that you've already put together but it's nice to know that they see it too they feel it too and they came they came to this conclusion on their own much like you did right if that i mean that confirms a connection right there they're feeling the same way this is so beautiful Somebody here could be getting um, cold feet as well with the engagement, but it looks like everything works out just fine. There are a couple of things that don't work out. Something with a dress. Um, just fussy energy. I don't know how else to explain that other than the energy is fussy. Or combative. I almost want to say the word combative. Let's see what's going on more over here. I do feel like this is your energy cancer, but you can vice versa if it's not. Is that another indigo for real? How many indigos are in this deck? Queen of coins. Yeah, see, you already knew this stuff. Yeah. Sorry. Some of you could be married. Some of you, this could lead to engagement. But like I said, this, it's going to go, it's, it's going to work out. There's I do is exchanged here. Somebody had a really rough past. The moon. Cancer. Also Pisces. And the star card. Yeah, but the past is not going to define you. You can change. Three of cups. Five of coins. I just heard somebody was a homewrecker. Fuck. And the five of cups. Ooh, that's five, five, five. Queen of swords. And the devil. And the seven of swords. Yeah, somebody was sneaky. Sneaky and suspicious sleeping on the other person. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't. Somebody's trying to change their ways. Or this is just what the other person went through. And that's why they were scared of getting married or scared of this connection because they'd been through the ringer before. Or, or because they put somebody else through the ringer and they didn't want to do it to this person too, to you, whatever. The star and the emperor. Somebody's trying to get their shit on lockdown. Somebody is trying to get their stuff together. Two of coins, three of cups. Yeah, because that third party energy just keeps popping up. It could just be that people are very attracted and they're like, hook up with me. They don't have to know all the fucking time. Even though they never do, it's it's annoying that people are like that with this person. Five of swords, ace of swords. No, somebody was definitely a narcissistic fuck. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Somebody was an asshole in the past. They're not like that in this relationship, though, you know? They're not. It could be a partial reflection on, you know, how they were with this person. But in the end, you have to, you have to accept it for what it is. This person chose to do the things that they were doing. They chose to do that. And it's scary knowing that they chose that at one time. Because what if they choose it again? And they can do that at any time. That's that's the one thing that is consistent is change. And people have agendas, and those agendas change, right? Or opinions, and those change. There is happiness here, though. 
to have and to hold king of coins, eight of coins. And this person's been really working on themselves. The fool card, so that they could have this with you. Or so that you can have this with them, if you're the one that was shitty. We've all been shitty. Just own it. It's easier. Knight of Swords, King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah, giving their love to other people. It just... It's scary, guys. It's really scary. Honestly, I would rather be giving this reading to the person who did the, the sabotage and the bullshit. Um... Because then I would know that you're the one that's changing. Only you can control what you do. That's why you have to own it. You did it. But it doesn't have to define who you are. And you don't have to keep reliving it. We don't have to keep talking about it. Just understand that when you have people come into your life to play the same role that once upon a time... Your knife went into the back of the last one. It's going to be a little nerve-wracking. I do feel like it was the masculine that did the backstabbing. Um, that's been working on themselves. But it could be either way. I guess it's just about having the faith that this connection, the reason it's different is because you guys have experienced things that you didn't in prior relationships. It was because of those prior relationships that made you who you are today, which is not the same person, so you're not going to do the same things, right? I don't know. I'm not really one for this kind of energy. I'm really standoffish with this stuff. So, like, I, I feel that even as a reader. Anyways, we have Aries. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. We've got Aries, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Taurus, Aquarius. Interesting. Um, that is so interesting. Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, and Taurus. A lot of Taurus energy. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.